All right, folks, annual World Autism Awareness Day was on April 2, and the Autism Association of Jamaica is continuing their awareness campaign. So here with the details, development, developmental pediatrician at uh, UA Hospital, Dr. Andrea Garbot, and president of the Pediatric Association of Jamaica, Dr. Tracia James, Tracia James Powell. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Thanks. So we had Autism Day, mm -hmm. and we have Autism Awareness Month. What happened on the day, Dr. Garbutt? So the day was actually a little Sunday, and we started off with the church service on that day only. But we have a month of activities that we try to bring awareness to the general population, as well as we provide some fun and excitement to the members of the Jamaica Autism Support Group and their families. What is autism? So autism is referred to as a neurodevelopmental disorder, and it's developmental because it occurs in the early period of your child's life. The evolution of the symptoms will be by then. Children who are much milder affected will evolve at a later date or will be identified at a later date. But for the majority of the children, the symptoms start to evolve at around 15 months, going straight up to between two to three years of age. Dr. James Powell, does that mean you were born with it? Well, what is thought is that there is some genetic basis to it. And what happens is that the environment will potentiate this genetic basis. It is not very clear exactly what is causing it, but we know that there are certain associations. For example, if there is maternal exposure to certain heavy metals, it may be... Um, cause a risk factor if you have certain illnesses. What, what do you mean by that? What do you mean maternal exposure to certain heavy metals? Heavy metals. So for example, if you are pregnant and you are exposed to pollutants, lead perhaps might be associated. Wow. Um, it, if you have, um, if you have, it, in the, in the prenatal, in, whilst you are inside the womb, if the, you don't have enough folic acid, for example, it may be able to cause autism to occur. But the exact cause is not exactly known. And I think because we do not have a precise thing to say to you, okay, if you do not take this, then your child is going to become autistic. That is why people keep searching to find an answer. But, well, I shouldn't say but. Yes. But if, if I'm not diagnosed very early, yes. I, I can't get it at no, 20 or 30 or anything No, like it's oh. not contagious and it's not acquired. However, you may be mild enough that you're not identified. Well, so not know. until the social skills are much more demanding on you, that you're not able to exhibit what's expected of you socially, that's when you might be identified. So in the past, we had a category of children who they had initially referred to as Asperger's. And the mild, they were the milder set. Now we just refer to the entire population that is affected as autism spectrum disorders. They would have been identified maybe seven, eight, or even a little bit later. Okay. So it can be identified later, but it's not that it's acquired at that age. Then get rid of it. Um, there, are th there are thoughts that if with early intervention, you may fall off from the diagnostic criteria because it's a clinical diagnosis. Mm -hmm. You sit and you play in a structured way and you rate the responses. But if you have enough intervention, direct one-to-one, -one, and what's referred to as intensive behavioral intervention, some children can actually lose that diagnostic criteria. However, the history is always there. And with the history, you will always have the suggestion but you will not appear outwardly to anybody else or meet diagnostic criteria okay. at a later date. It's a mental disease? Well, it is a disease, uh, it's a disorder of the brain. It is thought that there is some problems with how the brain processes inputs that are put into it. And that might be the reason why the behaviors are expressed the way they are. And the truth is that there are many children who seem to de be developing normally until about 18 months, 15, 18 months, and then they seem to fall off. So the important thing to look out for is whether or not they have lost milestones or if they are not achieving milestones, meaning not doing what they are supposed to be doing at a specific age. That is what is going to clue it you is in. Is not a mental disease? Or it is classified under the DSM, DSM diagnosis that is called Manivore, but we do not refer to it as a psychiatric disorder. Okay. So okay. Right? Um, <clears throat> Empress mentioned about a, a, a myth, well, a couple yes. of them. Mm -hmm. yes. um, tell me about 
autism is caused by vaccination. So no. that is definitely not a truth. That is there. However, in the past, we had some people who came up with some of theories of their own, and they tried to combine that together. And they looked at the MMR vaccine specifically. They also looked at vaccines that contain certain preservatives, such as thiomersal, which was initially put into some of the vaccines. But what they've found in subsequent studies, and there are large studies that look at almost close to 100,000 children, that the Nothing. MMR vaccine has no association. No Even in families where we already have one child who's affected with autism, giving the MMR vaccine to other children within that family does not even increase their risk. Mm -hmm. So it's something that we really need to ensure that our population doesn't believe. Because and people might stay away from... Ebola. But that's yes. exactly what's been exactly. happening. Exactly, exactly. And that is why we are having measles outbreaks in various parts so where this of the world. Where is, who's that? This myth is not <laughs> Um, I guess people who try to put theories together, and I said there's no exact cause, right. and as such people put forward theories, right. and theories are disproved as we go along. Yep. Kids but with autism don't want to make friends. Not true. <laughs> um, they try to make friends, however their way of making friends might be slightly different than you and I. I will come up to you and say, hey, how are you? They may not know how to, and they may come with a toy and just put it at you, and you're supposed to take the lead. So it's not true that they don't want to make friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. Children with autism can't learn. No, that is not true. And some of them are actually quite smart. They have found that they have um, a, an aptitude for mathematics, for example, for creating music, for being quite artistic. So it is not true. It is how they process things differently. They could that have, is what makes them They different. could have a regular conversation with, with anybody or... So autism spectrum disorder is, carries a range of symptoms. Cognition is actually one of those symptoms. Okay. And we know that at least half the population will have at least an average intelligence quotient. However, when you talk about having a regular conversation that will come back to where cognition is and where your right. social skills right. are. So if right. those aspects are affected more than behavior, then the ability to have that conversation may not always be there. Some of them will have ramp conversations that will capture you, but it might be specific to certain topics. So if I'm interested in the weather and that's what I want to talk about, I will talk to you about that. The problem is you're not interested in the weather and you want to tell me about cars. That's where the social communication part becomes impaired. And they don't pick up on social cues either. They don't look at your facial expressions and pick up on the cues that you are giving to them. So don't, they don't recognize that the context in which they are speaking is not appropriate. They are just focused on that particular thing that is their fixation. And that that's, is it. That's kind of beautiful to me anyways. What else is going to happen this month? So, as I said, we started off on the first, the UA uh -huh. Chorale, then we had church service. This, uh, this evening, actually, at 4 p.m., we're going to be at University of the West Indies with Light It Up Blue at the Undercroft. And then we go on to Surfing for Autism. It's a closed event for the families mm -hmm. and the children. And then we have our annual concert on the 22nd. However, during the time, we continue to do radio interviews and so bringing awareness and talking about the disorder just so that people are aware. And we are asking for acceptance. We're asking for tolerance and patience to our How children. How prevalent is it? So U.S. studies actually quote one in 68 children. One in 68? Four times mm -hmm. boys are affected more than girls. Boys are, is there, is, is there um, research to find out why that happens? We're or? not quite sure why it okay. is. But with many of the developmental disorders, boys tend to be affected more than girls. And one in 68 obtains here in Jamaica? Also? So we don't currently have any prevalence studies here, but we apply the same because that's what has been found worldwide. Okay, what kind of treatment? So there is no medication. You can treat symptoms off, but you can't treat the autism itself. What really qualifies for treatment is referred to as intensive behavioral intervention. You're talking about one-on-one, -on -one, hoping for a minimum of between 40 to 60 hours per week with a therapist. Those are limited in Jamaica. Yeah. You guys know your stuff. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, what Brilliant. we want Thank to... Thank you very much. What we want to tell them, too, is that we need to... I'd be able to identify these okay. children mm -hmm. early. And because of early identification, then we can do early intervention. Do what you can, you can intervene, but do not prevent your children from becoming vaccinated because vaccination is supposed to prevent infection, okay. keep them healthy, and you would not want to. They already have their issues with autism. Having poor health is not one of them that you would want no, them right. to have. Thanks very much for coming. Thanks. Developmental pediatrician at UI Mona. Uh, Dr. Andrea Garbutt and Dr. Tracia James Powell, who is the president of the Pediatric Association of Jamaica.